All right, so I'm gonna tell you guys how we're bulking. Um, you know, pretty much you eat shit ton of food. That's pretty much fucking it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty much it. You just eat a fuck ton of food. Um, gain a lot of weight, and it's, it's pretty. It's just that simple, you know. There's no fucking physics behind it. All right, guys. So we're back with another video. Um, I'm recording this pre-advance. Actually, my video. Uh, right now, it was actually um posting. Go check that out. Leave a like. Um, also, if this video can reach um. 50 likes again, um, that'd be greatly appreciated. I actually never really asked for a like, so like this video. And this video is telling you guys why teenagers should bulk. Um, I'm not going to really be talking about more like adults because I'm not an adult yet. So I'm only 15, so I can't really talk that far in advance. But if you guys are anywhere from 13, because I think honestly, I mean, you guys can start training whenever you want. But I don't know what to say about like 12-year-olds, 11-year-olds, like I don't know. But um, if you guys are at least like 13, I think that's a really good time to train even like 12 but like um you can train whatever i think stunning the growth is just complete bullshit that's just i don't think that i don't think that exists um yeah i just i don't know i don't i just there's been like studies on it you guys can look that up but i just don't believe in any of that stunt growth stunt growth um stuff so yeah so you guys can look whenever you want so this is gonna be um around uh 13 let's say 13 to 18 year old so why you guys should bulk because once you're like 19 20 you're mostly matured and yeah so when you're 13 uh what you want to be doing is if you're taking weight training seriously for my approach i'd go into powerlifting um strength training really important for building a good base of muscle and honestly you don't have to just focus on uh, powerlifting because obviously like you want to um, not just build strength but build a good physique so you know that's where the bodybuilding aspect, so you just do a bunch of reps there, you know. I'm on a power builder program, or that's what I mostly call it, because you do your body build, <clears throat> you do your power lifting movements, bench squat and deadlift, overhead press, push press, and also you do your, you know, dumbbell, incline press, your uh, cable, crunch, uh, your cable flies, I don't do those, but, um, you know, your bicep curl, um, seated lateral or lateral um, raises, you know, you do that for your bodybuilding. You're not going to build strength of that. You're just going to get your shoulders bigger, um, proportionate, you know, that's what it, that's what it's supposed to be doing. Um, yeah, but if you want to build, like, if you want to get a lot of muscle on you, a lot of strength, well, strength, it's important because it shows that you're not a bitch, but, um, muscle, that's what it'll do, it'll, like, promote muscle. It'll be much faster than doing a lot of bicep curls, um, for your chest, bench press will be more effective if you'd be doing a, a flat, um, a flat bench press with a barbell or incline um, than doing dumbbells. I think it's just more effective. It activates more um, muscle groups, so that's why it's called the compound movement. This is isolation, compound. It uses your bicep, tricep. It uses so much of shoulders, chest, obviously, upper chest, your, all your chest. So that's why it's that's why it's called the compound movement. Um, all right, so that's why I'm just explaining like the training aspect. You know. I would say I would say power building. That's what I would do. Now onto the part where, you, where your diet. So I think diet is really important, and also training is very important as well. If you don't have a good work ethic, if you're not willing to be determined and like you know motivate yourself for the gym, then what's the even point of doing it? Like, um, I literally hype myself up for every PR. Like it's the funnest thing I could do. It's so fun hyping myself up for PRs. It's like what I live for. And also another one, just one thing, just to add real quick. If you um getting like demotivated. Sometimes you just get demotivated for no reason. Like, I don't understand why. <clears throat> I take three days off the gym because maybe I need a deload or something. I'm, I'm like, I'm like, wow. Like, I like, it's like, oh my God, get some water. All right, so let's say I take three days off the gym. Once I'm on that second day, I'm like starving for the gym. Like, wow, I need this. Like, it's like, it's like my routine, you know? Like, I got to go to the gym. I got to go to the gym. So um, if you're ever losing motivation, just take a few days off and then you'll be like, I mean, it depends, like, for me, like, I'm craving the gym, like, oh, like, I need to go back to this, like, it's, like, my daily routine, you know, um, I've been doing it for a year, so that's why, but, um, yeah, um, I would say just never give up, okay, now, on to the diet part, which is, I think diet's, like, 75%, 70% training is 30, but I really don't like, like, those numbers, because I think training really seriously, diet, for bulking is, like, more different, for cutting, it's, like, more serious, but for bulking, it's more, like, have fun, so, I would, I would tell you in my perspective, so I was 130 pounds, 14 years old, um, and I was pretty much, I was skinny, but I was like, didn't have a six pack, so I was like, okay, like, <laughs> like this is not good, so I obviously wanted to get a six pack, so right when you guys are starting, like, oh, I want to get a six pack, you know, I want to build muscle, the stupidest thing I've heard, <laughs> which I just saw was, um, 
I want to get a six pack, but I don't want to build muscle. Like, that's the stupidest thing I've heard. Like, why wouldn't you want to build muscle, but, like, only get a six pack? Wouldn't you want to look, like, ripped? So, yeah, um, a lot of people just want to do it for the six pack and just looking good, but, but you're going to build muscle. So, I was 130 pounds, 14 years old, around 5'6", maybe, and I was like, I think I need to go on a cut. <laughs> I was 130 pounds. I was like, I, was, I looked like I didn't have any abs. That's a thing. So, I was like, hmm, I think I should go on a cut. So, I was like maybe cutting for like one month or something like that. Or maybe I was just maintaining. Honestly, I don't think I was cutting, but I was like, I need to lose fat. So that didn't work. So after a month, I was like, you know what? I'm going to look at some YouTube videos, blah, blah. So I found out across David Laid. And I was like, wow, this guy's really intelligent. Probably like, I still, like, he's still my favorite YouTuber right now. So obviously you guys can tell because you guys tell me every freaking video that I copy him. <laughs> so I looked him up and I was like, wow. I looked all of his videos. Literally, I got so addicted to his videos. I watched all of his videos in the span of like one week going back and back and I still watch them I still watch all of his old videos to date like I watch them um, here and there and it just really he's a really intelligent kid so um, I looked at his programs I started um, bulking which is I gained weight so for bulking um, for you skinny people um, pretty much just eat whatever you want and um, if you guys are really having trouble with it like you guys aren't gaining weight I would say start tracking but for me I don't have problem gaining weight at all like it just comes on and I usually never hit like a sticking part. Um, it just keeps going. It just doesn't stop. I probably need to let it get to 200 and it won't be a problem. But I'm obviously not going to do that. I will look like absolute shit. Even though I'll probably have like a 500 bench. But um, yeah, do not want to get to 200 pounds. I'm going to get to... Cause I would look, my face would be so like... It would just... <clears throat> that would not be good. But I'm trying to get to 170, 175 maybe. And then next year 185. Next year 195. You know, you get the point. You get the gist, right? You get the gist. 10 pounds a year. Maybe 15. But um... Yeah, see, last year I was 160, um, and then my bulk, which is, was around, like, March or May, March, April, yeah, around April, and I was, like, God, that was, like, fat as shit last year, and I, well, not fat as shit, but I was, like, pretty bulky, I was probably, like, 17% body fat last year, 18%, but now, right now, at 160, I'm, like, 13% body fat, maybe, maybe 14, but maybe I was actually 20, I mean, I'll, I'll give myself 20, actually, because I, like, I had no abs at all, it was, whew. now I'm at, like, 13%, maybe 14 but yeah, so I'm going to get to 170, 175, and I'll probably be at like 17%, 18% body fat. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, so for you just get, to gain weight, um, just eat a lot of food. It doesn't have to be, um, it does not have to be clean food. Like, you obviously want to get some, like your nutrients in. Obviously, you want some, you know, your micros, really important micros, really important. Bananas, strawberries, kiwi, blueberries, um you know, raspberries, all those like macros, those are great. Um, they're not really calorie dense, but you guys need to get those in. If you want to take a vitamin, take that, but you literally could just eat whatever you want. I eat ice cream, um, burgers, sandwiches, um, milkshakes. I don't know, actually I haven't had a milkshake in a while, but um, I usually just eat ice cream to just put on weight, some cookies, you know, a lot of milk. I drink chocolate milk. Oh my God, this chocolate milk is so good. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I will show you. Actually, I'll show you, show you guys a picture. All right, guys. If you guys can see that, Fairlife chocolate milk. Probably one of the best chocolate milks out there. And the um, <clears throat> the macros on it. Uh, I couldn't think of the word. The macros on it are crazy. It's like, I mean, it's milk. So, it obviously, has a lot of protein. But it has, like, per serving 12 for the good one. Because I got the good one. The it has yellow strips on it. 12 grams of protein. No, yeah, 12 grams of protein. 170 calories. I think around... Seven servings, yeah, seven servings. So the whole bottle is around uh, thousand calories, if I can estimate, somewhere around there. So thousand, I'd say nine hundred to eleven hundred. So um, I could drink that in probably two days. So five hundred calories just from that day, maybe four hundred. I had some before this. I just, it just, it's really good um, calorie dense. So chocolate milk, milk, um, yogurt, that's good protein. Chicken, you know, just, just. Whatever you're eating at dinner or whatever you're eating at lunch, just eat a little bit more. And then at night, just eat a lot. That's what I usually do. Because breakfast, I have really light. I have like a waffle for breakfast. Maybe like 400 calories for breakfast, honestly. And then for like lunch, usually just like a sandwich sometimes. Or maybe you have to wait. I actually sometimes don't even eat in school. Like, um, because I the food at school is absolute, absolute crap. So I wait till I get home. Maybe some mac and cheese, you know, some chicken nuggets. Um, and I always add like a banana in or something. Um, and then for dinner, I just go ham. Whatever my mom makes me, I just eat like two servings of that, which is usually around like 800 to 900 calories. And then I usually have maybe some ice cream or some, you know, chocolate milk. So just don't be worried about what you guys are eating because it's if you guys are skinny, 
don't worry about it because you'll put on weight, but with the weight training, it will like, it will like make you gain strength is what you want to do. So yeah. Now for the people who are higher than 20% body fat or let's say like 25, um, I would say cut down first because you do not want to be, um, <clears throat> okay, I really got to take a piss. That's why I'm fucking up. All right guys. So if you're over 20% body fat, um, I would cut down to around 15, maybe, maybe, yeah, like 15. I mean, like, you don't want to get too lean, obviously. You don't have, like, a six-pack because you are not gonna, you don't have that much muscle on. I mean, you do, but you haven't lifted, so you don't have that much muscle on you, so it's mostly just fat. So I would say cut down and get, like, kind of, you know, lean, I guess. I don't know what to say lean, but you definitely wanna be, don't want to be bulking at, like, you know, 20%. So the goal is to get down to, like, 13, right? And then you want to bulk to 18 to 19. 20 is the complete limit for me. Like, 20, I can't get past 20. I just don't want to because then I'm absolutely like crap. And then I just cut down. But this year, I'm going to take cutting really seriously. It's going to get down to, like, almost 10. Um, but, um, yeah. Now, the reason is you don't want to bulk from there is because um, Omar Esau or somebody did, like, a... Oh, no, Vitruvian Physique did a very good video explaining uh, body fat percentage. So... Alright guys, my camera just cut off, so this is kind of, um, I have to redo it. So I was at the part where I was telling Retrieving Physique, he made a really good video about how there's like a kind of limit on the strength, so, um, when you're bulking, so, say like the graph is like this, so you're going up, right? So ex it's like exponential, if you guys know what that is. So, so this is strength, right? Um, and this is your body fat. So your body fat is climbing, your strength is climbing, and then your body fat keeps going up, and then your strength is up here, it's right, this is hand, and then body fat, and then your strength is going from here to plateauing so it's completely it's like plateauing but like like this maybe and your body fat's like whoop and then it just completely goes out the freaking window so this could be shown by eddie okay so i'm gonna do two examples so eddie hall right you guys know you know pretty chunky guy you know 30 30 percent 20 25 30 percent body fat he's got a really big stomach but um he's very freaking strong you know strongest guy in the world um you obviously need to be very um bulky to be the strongest guy you're not gonna be freaking 200 pounds like lean <laughs> and lifting their amount of weight because you know you do need that extra fat that's going to help you lifting the weight but for pound my found best um eddie hall is 186 kilos 410 pounds um brian shaw is crazy jesus if brian shaw is like 200 kilos i think or 210 i'm don't quote me that but he's 6'8 so he might be like 450 but um so so eddie hall can deadlift a thousand pounds and you do a thousand a thousand fifty i think somewhere around there a thousand fifty divided by four four hundred four ten which is around 2.56, and then the guy who has the world record for, um, wait, what? Oh, shit. This guy is 5'3", um, okay, he's short, but he weighs 130 pounds, he's probably really lean, and steroids or not, um, he could deadlift 600, uh, 601 pounds. So if you do 601 divided by 130, that's like 4.6 something, and that's crazy, that body weight to like, you know, deadlift is like four, four times his body weight, that's absolutely nuts. Eddie Hall 2.6, so obviously you can see there's a limit about like how much strength you'll gain as your body fat increases. So if you guys want to watch Retrievian's Physique, I think it's something body fat levels, watch that video. Very good video because obviously he's much smarter than I am. I'm a kid, but yeah, so um, you don't want to bulk past that 20% or else, you know, the strength won't be there. So I would say bulk, then cut down in around two months and then, you know, Okay, I mean, like, it's lean, it's, it's freaking summer, like, when you're cutting, it should be summer season, so, you know, you know, I gotta show off the shreds, but, um, yeah, um, the people who are usually staying lean all the year are mo they're mostly on steroids, yeah, so, um, the other people who, like, you know, stay, like, lean all year round, they're just not gaining the strength that I am, like, my strength has been, like, crazy, you know, it went from a 315 squat, maybe 325, but, um, 315, so literally 365 in, like, a month or a month and a half, um, 125 to 135 overhead press, um, deadlift, like, I mean, it's pretty much like 335, but like, I probably got, got in more, but it's 335 to 405 in around a month and a half, two months, something like that, I think. Uh, well, 335 I got in August, but then I got like 375, like a month ago, so pretty, let's say like, you know, 70 pounds, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and then bench, like two, like 195, 190 in August to now 210, so 20 pounds on that, bench is like the hardest for me to increase. But, um, yeah, the strength is crazy on, like, the bulk. And um, once I cut down, I'll probably lose a little bit of strength. But just really going to try hard to maintain it. Um, that's the goal, just to maintain it. Um, the goal for me is to get down to, like, 10% body fat. And I'm going to be, like, 150 pounds, I think. Um, and I'll be, I think, decently lean. Maybe a little bit less. Because I thought I was going to be lean at 148, like, last year. 
but um, I was like, I was like, what I am, like maybe like like three, like two, like three pounds less than I am, so one fifty seven. So I think I gained around like maybe like eight pounds of muscle since that. So yeah, if you're skinny, bulk. If you're fat, um, over twenty five, only twenty, uh, over twenty percent body fat cut down. Um, yeah, because you just get hundred percent better strength gains. Um, because if you keep, if you keep maintaining. Your strength will not be like will not going up, and then if you keep gaining weight, you're gonna keep getting fatter. It's not good, so cut down right away. No, I'm just kidding. I, my freaking SD card ran out of storage, right? Like in half of it. I was like, God damn, I had to redo it, man. That's why. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a good video though. Um. All right, wait, hold on, hold on. All right, guys, so we got Ryan here. Yo, what do you have? To, what do you have? To, what's your input on bulking? Like, what's your input? Um. So basically. You just fucking eat. It doesn't matter what. It actually does matter. If they offer you anything healthy, you'd be like, I'm sorry, mom. Like, the fucking caloric value is not enough. Give me some fucking mac and cheese and fucking chicken nuggets. The whole fucking 20 pack, all right? That's basically how bulking works, man. And ice cream. Exactly, bro. Like, that's exactly how it works. You just fucking bulk up. So, guys, you pretty much just want to bulk up. If you're under, you know, 15% body fat... Just eat a shit ton of food, doesn't matter what. I said this in the beginning of the video. If you're over 20, over like 25, I would say just cut down because the strength gains are just not worth it when you're fat. We have friends to prove, so, um, I mean, we have friends, we, we do have friends to, you know, no, that prove it. Basically, when you're over 20%, it's actually harder to gain muscle. Ex exactly. I, like, I just told him for True Vim Physique, made a good video. Because, yo, like. Wait, I can Wait, I can't tell. Are you on cam now? Or I yeah, yeah, my camera's right here. I'm still holding it. But I'm just, I, I told them, like, um, like, I, like, I have the second highest deadlift in the grade, and the kids are 220. They're deadlifting, like, 365, 375, you know? Yeah, because they're fucking weak. And there's only one kid that, like, deadlifts more than me, but, like, you know, <laughs> And then, obviously, they have higher benches than me because their body weight's more than me. Um, But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, Hope you guys enjoyed this video, how to bulk, or, and why you should be bulking as a teenager. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>